Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to show you all how we can send an email using Python, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, a quick note for you all, you're going to need a Gmail account to sign into as well as your username and password, so once you have those set, you're ready to begin. Alright, let's begin by importing the simple mail transfer protocol library. We'll need a couple of variables to hold strings. Let's say we have a sender, a receiver, a password, a subject for your email, as well as a body for the email. Okay, sender is going to be you sending the email. So enter your email in here. I'm just going to make up one. You at gmail.com. Actually, sender would be better, I would say. Let me change that. Sender at gmail.com. Let's say we have a receiver. This is who you're going to send the email to. Receiver at gmail.com. Don't actually enter in these emails. Use your own or the person that you intend to send the email to for your test because these will probably not work, I'm assuming. Then enter the password for your Gmail account. So let's say password123. And a subject. Uh, let's say Python email test and a body. What do you want to say within your email? I wrote an email. <laughs> okay, so that should be good. So remember that you're going to want to change these to your actual Gmail account, and you'll want to send it to a valid email address too. And make sure that you use your password for your Gmail account. Okay, now we're going to create a header for our email, and the syntax on this is a little strange. We're going to say message, F, and then triple quotes. So what this triple quotes is, is that a triple quote string can span multiple lines of text. So the first thing we'll enter is from within our header, from, and then since we're using an F string, we can insert a variable at a given location when we insert a pair of these curly braces. So from will be sender, the next line, to, colon, receiver, then the next line, subject, colon, subject. This will be the title of the email. Then I'm going to add a new line and then insert the body. And if you want, you can give yourself a name when you send this email. Let's say maybe Snoop Dogg. And if there's somebody you want to send the email to and give them a name, you can say like Nicholas Cage, but these aren't necessary. Okay, so we have our header completed. Let me just add a note that this is our header. Okay, we're going to create a server object. Server equals smtp lib dot smtp. There are two arguments. The first is smtp dot gmail dot com. The other argument is the port number, and that is going to be 587. That is the default mail submission port 587. Now we're going to take our server object and start TLS, Transport Layer Security. Okay, now we need to log in. So server.login, we will pass in our sender email, that's us, as well as our password password. And let's print logged in. We'll eventually place all of this within a try and accept block later. All right. And then to send an email, type server.send mail, and we pass in our self, sender, receiver, and our message. Sender, comma, receiver comma message and let's print a confirmation print email has been sent now if you were to run this program you may encounter this error smtp authentication error that either means your username password combination was not correct or you need to turn on the less secure app access on your gmail account which you can find here However, I would recommend turning that back off when you're done with this program just because your account will be less secure and I'm not liable if you get hacked. 
hey, you know what? Let's place this code within a try block. We will try all of this code. And then if we encounter this exception, we can catch and handle it properly. So we will try these four lines of code and we will handle our exception of smtlib.smtp authentication error. That means we could not sign in. So let's print unable to sign in. So I'm going to run this one more time. And instead of getting that ugly error, we should get a simple message that says unable to sign in. Once you have the proper username password combination for your Gmail account, and if you need to set less secure app access to on, but make sure that you turn it back off when you're done with this, you should be able to send an email. Let's try it. Logged in, email has been sent. Here is a snapshot of the email that I received. I blurred out my actual email because I don't want it public because some of you guys are weird. So we have our sender, our receiver, and I gave myself a nickname of Snoop Dogg. That's why it says Snoop to Nicholas, the receiver. But you don't actually need a name for these. As long as you have the sender and receiver fields filled in, you should be good. We have our subject, Python email test, as well as our body. I wrote an email. Well, everybody, that's how to write and send a simple email using Python. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this in the comment section down below. But yeah, that's how to send a simple email using Python. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.